Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for How Do I on Butterscotch.com and our series on gingerbread running on the Nexus S. Today we're taking a look at some power saving tips within gingerbread running on our Nexus S. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check uh, which applications and which phone functions are actually using up most of our battery uh, so that we can actually edit our use around that information. So we're going to need to go into settings, which we can access by tapping the uh, capacitive key here and choosing settings. And we're going to go into applications, which is right here. And now we're going to go into uh, battery use. Now here we get a bit of an idea of what's actually using up the battery on our phone. And we also get a uh, gauge on how long we've actually been running on battery power, like unplugged. So we're looking at about 18 and a half hours so far of mixed use. So you can see here the biggest, um, the biggest thing that's actually using up our battery is our display. What we can do is we can actually adjust the brightness settings and do a couple of other things to tweak the way that this display acts and save our battery accordingly. We'll show you that uh, in upcoming in this episode. We can see here that the actual running Android is uh, using about 25% of our battery. Like I say, you can see here what's actually sucking up our battery life. Apparently I'm on Facebook a little bit too much and I don't call people enough. So now let's uh, go out of here get a bit of an idea of um, what we've actually been uh, using up our battery on. So like I say, uh, we can turn down the display brightness. So let's uh, do that right now. So this is a super AMOLED display. AMOLED, uh, the OLED part is organic light emitting diode, which basically means that this screen is not backlit as a traditional LCD is. Uh, each pixel is actually emitting its own light. So you can see, um, other than our wallpaper here, the overall scheme of Android uh, 2.3 gingerbread is much darker now, and that is, um, basically to take advantage of the uh, AMOLED screen, which when it's displaying a dark color isn't using as much energy as when it's displaying a light color. But we can further tweak the way the display acts. We can either go into settings and uh, display. So we can go into display here. We can adjust the brightness. Now I say, I, I, I choose to use automatic brightness. That means that uh, with the light sensor in the phone, if we're in direct sunlight, it'll actually uh, key the display up some so that we're competing with the uh, ambient light. In a darker situation, it'll actually dim the phone down so that we're still getting an optimal viewing experience um, without actually basically uh, burning our retina. However, we can choose to actually set a, um, a standard brightness that we always use. So we can go from quite dim here all the way up to um, retina searing, but I'm going to choose to uh, set it on automatic brightness. Now you can see with the studio lights actually shining on this thing, it does um, dim to a, a very usable uh, brightness here. Another thing we can do is set our screen timeout. So as it stands right now, we have it set at two minutes. That's just because we don't want the phone turning off while we're recording. Um, when I'm actually using the phone, I set it to 15 seconds or sometimes 30, but I usually leave it about 15. I find that um, most applications will actually stop the screen from turning off if they're actually in use. For example, if we're watching a YouTube video, our screen won't dim out when we're doing that. Now one more thing we can do for very quick uh, and easy access to power savings is we can actually use the power saving widget. So we'll add this to the home screen right now. So we long press on the screen, select widgets, and down at the bottom, and among my very long list of widgets, we have power control. So if we tap that, it'll add itself to our screen. And now we can toggle Wi-Fi on or, on or off, tap that to turn it off. We can turn Bluetooth on or off, it's currently off. This is the GPS setting, so anytime we're not actually actively using location-based settings, good idea to turn that off. This is push sync, so um, anytime we don't really need to actively be syncing our email, um, getting Facebook updates and all that kind of stuff, we can turn that off. And the last setting here is the brightness. Uh, the sun with the A indicates that it's set on automatic brightness. We can choose to... Um, toggle between several different levels, dim, medium, and bright, or we can select back to automatic. Now one last thing we can do, as this is kind of a last ditch effort to save our battery, and this is only if we're kind of running uh, low on battery power and we, uh, we really want to save some battery because we're not going to be near a charger anytime soon. Hit the capacitive touch button and go into settings. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to turn off 3G. So we go into wireless and networks, go into mobile networks, and now we can uh, choose to turn data off. Well, we're going to leave that on. Or we can choose to use only 2G networks. I'm not going to do that because uh, obviously 3G allows us uh, better call quality and faster data. However, if we were really uh, suffering and we weren't going to be near a power outlet anytime soon to charge up a battery, might want to tap that one and select that to be on. So those are a few power saving tips for gingerbread running on the Nexus S.
For full show notes and more episodes in this series, be sure to hit up butterscotch.com. Thanks for watching.